I am currently off the market. Okay, well, there's no ring here yet. Just you wait, okay? Your girl, she knows what to do. She is working it. I'm just taking it slow, you know? Like playing it cool. But him, you know, like not so much. You know, I can just see it in his eyes. But hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this video is all pretty much about the boyfriend because I have been dating the boy for about like five months. Our first day of being official was June 8th, July, August, September, September, five months. I am officially one of those people with a hinge success story. Isn't that just crazy? Like, it's just weird to say, like, I actually met my person on a dating app. We matched on Hinge and I was super excited that I actually stopped matching with other people. I wanted to focus just on him. I thought he was so cute. I was parading around my work, showing off his photos and being like, oh, I have a date with him. And even better, he took me to a steakhouse, which is all I've ever wanted. Literally, if you guys remember my profile, I specifically asked for steak. No other guy has ever given me steak. This bundle right here is actually all from the dollar store. This may look like crap and it is a bundle of crap, but some of this stuff actually was not a dollar. It was 125 and like some stuff was even more, okay? They have a $5 section now. I got this that we're gonna go through and then I got some containers. All of this totaled $50. I am a generous person. Sandwich bags, hair brushes, little baggies to pick up dog poop. Well, he picks up the dog poop. He's a boy, so we already know that he does not own one nail filer. And then he needs appropriate sized scissors and tweezers, hair clips, for me and I got more hair clips because you know this is a shopping moment for me but I thought these were cute I've just been in love with like the little jaw clamps oh here's the other ones there could be even more down here oh yeah so I got these look at that fiery orange and then this one see some of them kind of look like repeats because like I said I'm gonna do some splitsies here these baggies so I'm not for sure I think this one might be a grocery bag that I, I keep in my car so it's kind of like keeping it there and then this other bag because my overnight bag is getting too stuffed and it's heavy and it overflows and I just thought you know what like let's not ruin the bag maybe I should just get another bag here but this is pink but he can use it too so this is like our mutual bag and then this well this is also for his place but for me so this is going to hold some makeup brushes eyeliners all of that good stuff he needs a lot of containers and dividers and organizers. So um, stay tuned. Here is a towel that he'll totally love in all of its pink hue, because it's really just for me. And this is if we go to his pool complex or I take a shower there. I know this is a beach towel, but it actually is pretty soft and thin. So I'm like that works out too. Okay, so getting to the part that's like actually for him, I have these manila folders and this is to stay organized for when he gets a house and he buys appliances that you just need to put warranty paperwork and notes and receipts all together. Take a look at his very first dish drying mat that this might be the only time we see this because I'll probably lay it out nice in his kitchen and then I'll find this bundled behind his toaster later. And then a bath rug. I will say that he has pretty good shower curtains. So there's actually is not like a puddle after he gets done showering. But I just think that this would be nice and make it feel more like a home. These containers are kind of whatever. They're really not that interesting until we see them in action. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions about my relationship just so I could kind of give you the details that people actually want to know. Did we kiss on our first date? Yes, we kissed at the end. He leaned into me in the parking lot and it was just like a very swift kiss. I have a feeling though he told his guy friends that we totally made out. But then it was funny because actually on our second date, he said that he watched my YouTube videos and apparently in one of my Hinge videos where like I cry and I think I throw up too. Like <laughs> it's real bad, like so embarrassing, but apparently I had a video where I said I do not like to kiss on the first date and then he felt terrible. But honestly, I forgot that I even said that and I was totally okay with him kissing me. Did I know that he would be my boyfriend right away? Yes, in a sense. So the first date, I guess you never really know how that's gonna go, but I had a very strong feeling that he was not going to ghost me. 
then on the second date, I actually had him pull up his hinge right in front of me and his profile was paused and I was like the only one he was talking to. And so even though he claims that he actually was gonna take a break after me, because I get it, dating is exhausting, I take breaks too. I've paused my Hinge profile before as well. But like, of course you'd have to take a break after dating me. He probably would have been heartbroken. How did we make it official? Technically, I was the one that asked him to be my boyfriend, but he started soft launching me on his Instagram very early on. He would take a picture of our food at dinner, where you could clearly see a woman body sitting across from him. You know, it was like cropped right here. Then things got a little bit more serious when he started posting my face. One was my full body in a swimsuit. And then I would be tagged so people could literally like tap my username and go to my profile to stalk me. So like, yeah, he's like hard launching me. Like I have been announced. So he would do this like a few times and I'm like, well, like, isn't he gonna officially ask me like is, he, is this like implied like i don't understand eventually it became clear that he didn't really understand what a hard launch really meant so then one of the days we went out to eat we were eating oysters the sun was setting it was just a good date like it was so romantic i remember i kind of vaguely brought it up like i was kind of like dancing around the subject and then he goes like, well, what do you mean? And I swear, like he will deny this. He wants to say he was just, you know, confused and wondering what I was saying. But I think he was really trying to like pin me down. So then I would have to fess up and ask him out. Like, I know. So he throws it back on me, like I'm on the spot. And I know though, I want to carry on with asking him, but I'm so nervous that I kind of black out. Like I can't tell you word for word what I said. And I think I too was like dancing around the subject a little bit because everybody's a little bit afraid of rejection, even though I was so super sure. Because firstly, his profile was paused. Secondly, we had been texting so much there was not enough time in the day for him to be talking to somebody else. So I asked him to be my boyfriend and he said yes. And then of course, naturally, I'm like, we gotta update the waitress. And he's like, no, you like stop updating the waitress. <laughs> like I keep, every time we would go on a date, I'd be like, this is our third date. This is our fifth date. Like I had already talked to the waitress about him. So he's thinking like, no, like she does not need an update. I'm like, fine, okay. I think it's a weeknight, but like, of course we have to extend the dates. Like now it's magical, we're official. So we go to our favorite bar and I go to the bathroom and I'm in the bathroom for a really long time because of course I'm over there like trying to FaceTime people on the toilet, <laughs> text them like crazy that I am official. So like I have a lot of group chats to update. He told me later on that he was actually nervous that I was in the bathroom panicking because I had asked him so early on. Like I think we we're about five dates in, which to me wasn't early. Like we were definitely progressing and so into each other but I did ask him kind of early. It's very dark in this bathroom. Two thirds of the lights don't work. They would turn on if we could replace the bulbs, but they're just a little bit, a little bit too high for me, for him at six feet. We don't have a ladder. So we're just waiting, peeing in the dark, taking a shower in the darkest depths of the room. Welcome to his closet. So he and I are a little bit different. I shop at Kohl's, he shops at J. Crew and Urban Outfitters. He's a little bit more bougie than me. The most controversial thing about him is that he has Yeezys for pairs. He's a fashionista, he looks really cute in them, he looks cute in everything. But um, the one thing that's been kind of an ongoing back and forth is some of his shirts are not really like up to par, so <laughs> as to speak. So um, like this one, I recognize it right away. It's a, it's a nice name brand shirt. You know, it's J. Crew. spent a lot of money on it. First up, this simple shirt naturally wrinkles. I know you might have seen it a little more balled up, but I'm telling you, fresh out of the dryer, it wants to wrinkle so fast on you. Then you get the neckline. I don't know if it's supposed to look a little worn and stretched, but it does. It's fine, you know, that's a look. But then you turn around and there's holes in it. These are not designer holes. They're not meant to be there. It's not like this is even an old shirt. 
It's the fact that he bought this and decided to rip off the tags with his bare hands. There's more than one shirt like this. And I mean, I understand keeping the shirt. People definitely have some grungy stained clothes that they use to lounge around in, sleep in. Well, you know what? He tries to leave the house in this, to go out in public with friends, to a restaurant with me right there wearing the shirt. And I mean, I guess it's fine from the front. It's not perfect, but you turn around and every time you see the holes. Well, I have decided to fix that. When I took my little trip to the bougie Walmart, I got him this $5 green shirt. Now, my boy's very observant, so I just told him up front. I was thinking of just sneaking this into the mix, but he would notice. Honestly, though, I think this is a pretty good alternative for when this one somehow mysteriously disappears. I've organized some of this stuff, though, like a little bit. So the top drawer is home to his frequently used products, but now as I speak, I realize I don't know him very well because I actually don't know if he uses these things, but now maybe he will a little bit more. I've already added my little dollar store goodies in here. The next drawer is a bit deeper and one that I've very much taken over. I mean, I do have some stuff in the back right here, but I pretty much consolidated everything to this basket. So if I want, I can take it out and uh, find some counter space on top of these clean clothes that need to be folded. And then I can do my work in the mirror. The last drawer is also very deep. And so I figured that these would just be some bulk products. Then we have this medicine cabinet that was so funny because when I asked my boyfriend if I could take it over, I opened it up. Nothing was inside because he did not know it existed. So now, welcome to my territory. A lot of these products are duplicates where I actually have the same version at home and I have them here because I want them in my daily skincare routine. Some of them are very unique, like this one. This has been the newest edition and I got this from Grove. I use this face cream morning and night. It's a perfect amount of hydration. I love how it absorbs. I put this on my face, neck, chest and boobies, cause why not? Which brings me into their lip care. Rooted Beauty is one of the cheaper brands that they sell. I hate saying cheap, I would say more affordable, but oh, oh, oh gosh. So this brand is Revata. It's actually from the Revata Med Spa in North Dallas. I love all their products. This is actually a sample, but they have a few masks, but this is my favorite. So amazing. This is an exfoliant if you need physical exfoliation. These are actually products that uh, my boyfriend already had here. These are more Revata. So this is the Fido Nourish Oil. I want it to focus. So you can see there's CBD in here, vitamin E. So I uh, clearly made this lid gross along with this one that also includes CBD, but also hyaluronic acid, loaded with peptides, which is really good for elasticity, vitamin C. So they sell a variety of eye creams, but this is the only Revata brand. It's actually a serum. It's loaded with peptides. I really do like the formula of this. I could only find it on Amazon and it was so expensive. We live the life of luxury. We always go out. We love to grab good food, but when it comes to his place, He's a simple man, you know, he's quite the minimalist. And how I can tell is that I open a ton of cabinets and drawers in his kitchen and nothing's in there. And that includes also this bathroom. So if you were to look, well, I guess behind me, <laughs> right here, there is this entire cabinet unit that is just empty. It's all mine for the taking. Okay, so now that I've come to terms, literally while filming this, that this will solely be a closet I feel a little bit lost. Like I think I need some organizers to make some drawers and shelving within this because this is like a lot of vertical space and I don't want to waste it. Like shoes, uh, t-shirts, jeans and all that because it doesn't wrinkle when you fold it. But like this shirt, it looks like it doesn't wrinkle, but it does. I always have to hang it. So maybe I can carve out like a little bit of hanging space in this closet. I feel like I got to scrap everything. Like the storage bins that I got, this one, and this one, like, am I just gonna throw a ton of bikinis in here? Uh, maybe some sneakers if I feel ready to part with that many shoes. Like, I don't even know if these actually fit. Yeah, great. So like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these bins. It's fine, it's not a loss. I'm sure I can think of some reason to actually use these. Just, I might've exposed him a little bit in this video, but I'm telling you, 
He's actually clean. I'm so excited to live with him. Uh, he's perfect. And honestly, if you know me, you've seen the inside of my car. You've seen the inside of my room. So much worse. So like to me, like, eh, this is a breeze. This is easy. Then I'll have plans with Emmy Tom. We are going to do the Katy Trail 5K. You heard that right. It's a marathon. Now, um, basically what ended up happening was uh, the person she was going to go with canceled. So then that's where I come in. <laughs> like, I'm the best backup. But honestly, she's kind of more into that thing. I've never been. I think she was really taking a leap by asking me. Um, but she is totally down to just walk the marathon. I told her if she wanted to run, I would try my little hardest. I'm glad that she asked me, um, but it gets me walking, it gets me out of the house. Will I introduce him on my channel? No. Okay, the reason for this is just because he's not, um, it's not that he's not interested in my content. He actually loves the fact that I do make videos and he's down to watch them. He's very supportive. It's just, he personally just doesn't really want an online presence. I can see it like from your end, maybe it's a little disappointing because of course like you want to meet him. Like, you know, I want to have that introduction. But for me, like I'm not taking it personal because I understand I've been in his shoes before. I've also dealt with anxiety with the fact of having such an extensive digital footprint. Like I can't remember everything that I've said in some of my older videos. But with that being said though, like he's not entirely separate from my YouTube channel. Like we have talked, a little bit about like what's a creative way where we can come together where maybe he is off camera off screen where he can still kind of participate here and there a little bit i don't know right now like it's gonna just be me but you're gonna get to know him through me because i'm obsessed with him what type of roommate would my boyfriend be and i can be i can very confidently say messy <laughs> but that's okay because i am messy too but I mean, we kind of sort of do mimic living together because I'm here four nights of the week. I do have some stuff here, but a majority of my things are in an overnight bag that I bring back and forth, but I kind of have to replenish like medication, clean clothes. I had a little spark of inspiration where I was able to use those dollar store containers in his closet. So those containers are just pretty much all for him right now but it really divvied up his space. So I'll have to show you that in the next video. And honestly, I'm just consistently filming. It's like a whole progression of moving in and getting settled, but um, I'm glad that I could make you guys aware that I'm in a relationship. So thank you so much for watching. I love you, I mean it, bye guys.